Hello, it is hard to believe that it's already December. The first semester is flying by. I do have our December board update for all of you. First of all, under consent agenda, we had bills totaling $13,049,212.15. As our bond projects are obviously ramping up, if you've been around the school district, we're starting to pay all of those bills. So the amount uh, that we have this month is higher than what we would typically see in previous years. Also under consent agenda, we are approving to let bids for child safety restraint systems to be used by our school buses for our early ed programs. This is something that we do about every six years as we update the child restraint systems. We want to make sure that all of our kids in our early ed programs are safe. Under superintendent's report, I reported to the board uh, honestly, some very sad news, and that was the firing of Margie Van Dieven as our commissioner. Uh, I've tried to keep all of you updated on this. This is certainly something that I'm very disappointed in, and I hope that there's a remedy, but we're going to move on here in the Independent School District and continue to do the great job that all of you do every single day. Item number one under new business was the approval of the authorization and the issuance, sale and delivery of lease obligation bonds. What this really is, is a refinancing of lease obligation bonds that we issued a number of years ago. Uh, the issuance is for just over $3 million and it will save taxpayers about $112,000. Item number two is the approval of the district casualty insurance for 2018. Uh, this bid totaled $298,600. $685. Item number three was the program of studies presentation by Dr. McLaughlin. It actually goes with item number four, which the, was the approval of the course changes and program of studies changes. This relates to high school instruction and our academies. As we make changes each year, we also want to make sure that we update our course offerings. Item number five is the approval and changes and additions to the Board of Education policies. This is something we do about twice a year. Any Board of Education policy changes does require two separate readings. So this was our first reading for those. And number six was the approval to accept bids for graduation caps and gowns. This is the first time that we have ever actually placed this out for bid and we're very pleased with the bids that we got back. Ultimately, we are going to continue with Jostens, but there will also be the ability for our students to rent their caps and gowns, thus saving them money. Number seven was the approval of the district calendar for the 2018-19 school year. Uh, it's very similar to this year's calendar with 173 instructional days. The start date will be August 16th, and pending any snow days, the ending date will be May 22nd. Item number eight was the approval to accept the bid for installation of an indoor cooler freezer combo for the nutrition warehouse. This bid ended up coming in at 60,000 from TempCon and we're getting very close to having the nutritional service warehouse in a, such a state that we can actually start using it here in the independent school district. And that also then goes into item number nine. That was the approval to accept the bid for the generator for the central warehouse. Uh, the final bid was $52,340 and that was from Heartland Electric. Item number 10 was the approval to accept a bid for the forklift for the central warehouse. That came in at $61,891.20 and that was from Lyft Truck Sales and Service. Item number 11 was the declaration of surplus items. We typically do this three to four times a year to get rid of any out of date items or unused items, things that we need to dispose of here in the independent school district. And the last item was the approval of the resolution advocating for equity in Missouri public schools. This is something the board thought was very important to advocate that charter schools and public schools are on the same playing field. As we look around the state, both public schools and charter schools don't always play by the same rules and we think this is very important and it's not always equitable what we see right now. Well that was all that we had for the December board meeting. I wanted to thank all of you for your work this first semester. It's hard to believe we're already wrapping up and it's Christmas time. If you're traveling this holiday season, please travel safely. And I do truly wanna thank you for all that you do for our kids here in the Independent School District. It's very much appreciated. Have a great holiday season. Mm -hmm.